everybody welcome back to another biogas video I've been looking forward to recording this video for quite a while um, I, in the past I've shown you biogas to use it for heating cooking and now I finally got a generator and we're going to make some electricity so the idea of this is you can use a gas through the generator to power appliances or in my case that I want to use it to charge a battery bank so say if you're solar you know it's cloudy and you've got your biogas sitting there in a tank or just in a bag and you've got a pump you can use it into the generator to power up your battery bank uh, so <laughs> with the stuff that's been going on lately of the news I'm guessing everyone's heard about what's going on it's probably not a bad idea to, um, to look at alternative methods I'm not gonna say like the world's gonna end but you know this is interesting in its own matter and it's a little bit of fun. Um, so I picked up a, a petrol generator. It's a Honda 22, oh yeah, EU 22i. So it's 2200 watts. And I've already tried it out to make sure that I can show you guys it actually works. Um, but before I do, I'm actually in the greenhouse and uh, I'm gonna update on my hydroponics. So strawberries there are going a bit stupid. I put some uh, watermelon seedlings in. But the uh, season's getting cold now, so we'll see. It's a bit I've left a bit late. The tomato plant there has gone absolutely stupid and it's fallen over. Chilies, I've actually got chilies on there. Um, so the biogas and the liquid that comes out of it, very practical. Right, I'll take you over near the house and we'll have a look at the uh, the generator. Oh, so the front cover here, we've got to take this off. Um, it's really easy, just a screwdriver. Take that off. So here is the air box and the carburetor. As I said, air box, carburetor, we're going to take this off. There's the, um, the inlet past the air filter in here, there. So all we're going to do is put our gas pipe in there. It's going to suck into the carburetor, into the motor. Same thing, to its head. Off. air filter does come off but we don't need to take it all the way off here it is there well, I'll leave it off for now okay so you can actually buy conversion kits for this and the previous model um, so what it is it's a manifold you take this off and a manifold goes in there and there's a gas pipe you just drill a hole in the front cover and you hook the gas tank up from the front um, but we're not being professional, we just whack it in. So before I start, I'll just explain what I'm going to do because it's going to get loud and I'm not going to talk over it. So this here, at the moment, the fuel's off. I'll turn this on. Now let the fuel, I can already hear it, the fuel's coming down. So what I'll do is I'll start it, then I will turn the fuel off, let it die down. I've got my gas tank here, I'll show you the hose. So it's hooked to the regulator, and this is just where you'd screw it on to like your barbecues or in the oven, the stove, whatever. So this, the gas is going to come out. I'll put it in this hole in the air box here, and it's going to start sucking the gas through the carburetor and into the motor. So the idea is uh, carburetor turns petrol into a vapor, airborne vapor, and that ignites. This is already vapor gas, so it bypasses the need for a carburetor anyway. So, like I said, I'll do this, I'll warm it up, it'll probably take a few pulls, uh, turn the gas, uh, the fuel off, and then it'll just like go blah, 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 and then I'll back this in. Now, like I said, it's, it's a bit touchy at the tank. I would like a valve down here, so I don't have to adjust the tank all the time, but, um, You'll hear the revs change anyway when I start messing around with it. I'll get it up to op optimal um, revs. And on the side here, I'll show you that there's actually a green light that says you're generating power. You're at the desired limit. All right, so I'll get this started. I don't need that there.
Okay, so you can see it died in the ass. I didn't adjust the thing properly, but we'll give it another shot here. And there's still a bit in there. I think it's actually a little bit harder because I've been messing with this all yesterday and today just letting it run just because it's I find it amazing uh, so the gas tanks probably running a little bit low too but there you have it uh, so with this you're charging your battery bank all you do is work a battery charger in the AC socket hook it to your battery bank charge um, so I tried this with some lights fans runs fine now I put a kettle on it, as soon as I turn the kettle on, bang, it just turned off. So I think it's the, the surge that I overload, and it's not big enough to run a kettle. So I think it's, what, two and a half kilowatt, and then if it surges, uh, then yeah, this is only 22. So, yeah, for, you can probably run a TV, fridge, like a small fridge, I don't know. I'm not going to pull mine out and uh, try it out here, but yeah, it works. Uh, I do have another generator out the front. It's a uh, same same power. It's just an older type one. And this is a nice compact unit. Um, so what I think I'll do is the next video. I've got another tank down the shed. Uh, I'll compress it as far as it'll go, and that's probably a thousand liters of the big bag that was in previous videos. Um, I'll hook it up and let it run and see how long a uh, thousand liters of gas lasts. Uh, anyway guys, that's practicality for you. Sustainability, food waste, to gas, to electricity. Right. As usual, if there's any comments, questions, suggestions, whack them down in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, helps me out. Um, but, excellent. No worries. See you next time.